freaking map. Mirror theory, mirrored theory is the freaking band we're listening to that are bringing us right into this next game. And it looks like it's going to be T O R or Tor against Liquid O G S. It's going to be a T V T here, Aunt Ara. Yeah, I'm excited. Fire is happy I'm getting this and not him. <laughs> we all know that. Of course. <laughs> it's a day of no mirrors today, and that will be the vow. <laughs> yes, well, I think you're going to get a mirror in the next round, I'm sure. Well, let's go ahead and get this going. Here we go, guys. We're on the way into the next round. Thanks again for coming, and enjoy the action. All right, everybody, welcome, and thanks for joining us here at Imbalance.tv. We're here at the EU Craft Cup Lite number 56. We're going to get that scoreboard fixed for you real soon here. In the meantime, we do have Tor spawning up at the top of Zelnaga Caverns as the Green Terran, and down here at the bottom is Liquid OGS. These players throwing out the good games, good lucks, have funs, let's go. Here you go, Antahara, it's all yours. Antahara. You seem to be muted. Ooh, my mic was muted. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Heard a little bit of silence, and I was like, wait, wait, wait. Did Maybe he he's muted. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this one underway, man. Yeah. The, uh, we're going to be seeing some very good uh, supply placement right now. He's going to uh, Liquid OGS is actually going to be placing that supply depot there in the back, which uh, limits drops and Hellion uh, harassment early on in the game. And that's a pretty good way to start opening. Uh, Tor is doing something slightly similar, just at the back of his uh, mineral line. Now this helps with Marines, Marauders, because it gives them less, min less uh, room to micro. And it's pretty good seeing people who do this, because it's a good indication that you've got good players on the feed and they'd be doing something good. I haven't, I've never seen these two guys play, so... Yeah, I hear uh, you. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how they do it. They both put their barracks down, and then they both get their gas at very uh, standard time. Now, also with this uh, supply depot placement, I do want to say it is also very well uh, to see it done. Just to uh, try to thwart out the attacks from uh, Hellions, you can easily wall that off and lift up those uh, supply depots, um, making it so those Hellions can't just efficiently micro around the back of your mineral line and toast your, uh, toast your SCVs to hell. Anyways, we do see the barracks going down now, or finishing up by uh, Liquid OGS, as well as Tor finishing his up. And Orbital Command's going down. One of, we've got a beard match continuing as their beer or as their builds continue to maintain around the same uh, first marines will be out from both of these players very soon and it looks like Tor will actually uh, go ahead and leave his SCV a little bit later I thought he was going to go ahead and stay around the base but it looks like they're both both going to send their SCVs back into their respective bases maybe uh, Tor will sit on that Zelnaga watchtower instead yeah that was impeccable timing by Tor. He knew exactly when the Marine would pop out, and he just pulled it as we at, this, at the proper time. We see a factory coming down from Liquid OGS, but nothing as of yet is... Uh, oh, a second gas. Will we see a factory soon? I think we will. There we Ooh. go. There's a factory. A bit delayed. A little bit but delayed, but it's still down. And it looks like uh, actually Liquid will be able to get his up first. Uh, we are seeing the two Marines actually poke out and check out that natural expansion. Yeah. Now, uh, the, the second gas for Tor is a bit early, I think. I'm, I'm not really sure because, like, usually you get your second gas while you're building your factory, which is what uh, Liquid OGS did, but Tor got two uh, gases right off the bat. So I'm going to say probably uh, Blue, Fl uh, Blue Flame Hellions or uh, Banshee, Cloak Banshee. That's why he needs all this gas, because I can't say he's going to make a, a mistake this early in the game. He's he's a good player. I can see that. Yeah. I think we're going to go for the, uh, now, uh, what do you call this? Let's take a Sorry. look into his stats here. EU rank one or 216 is what Tor is sitting at. Master League rank number four, so he definitely is a skilled player to make it that far in the ladder. We see the 1-1-1 one, one, one build going down from both of these players, and it looks like Liquid will switch off the factory and that starport. Now, taking a look at Liquid, he is uh, in the EU rank of 812, sitting in Master's League rank number 18 in his division. 
So with all that being said, we can keep in mind those stats and their skill levels and continue to watch what they're going to be doing as two marines at a time start being pumped out of this barracks. Now we've got a raven being the first thing out of that supply, or out of that starport. Starport over here from Tor is producing the cloak with the banshees. Good call there, Antahara. That is pretty amazing. That's a uh, very good uh, work by uh, by him. And uh, yes, shout out over there to Lolagasm for handing out everybody brews in the chat. If you guys were in the chat, you'd be able to get a free beer. But anyways, shout out to him for that. And we got uh, we got some tanks going down right now as well from Liquid uh, OGS. And what is this? Uh, some scans also going down, getting a full eye of what Tor is up, has up his sleeve. Going for that expansion right now as well is Tor. Yeah, this is actually a very interesting play. Tor cancels his uh, cloak, I think, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yep. He he scanned. He saw uh, he saw the tech lab, and I think that was a very good call. And he just said, "No, I'm not going to go for it." Now Banshee going out while an expansion is going out, and at the same time, there's a huge push coming in from uh, L Liquid OGS. It might not look big, but this early in the game, that is pretty big. Oh yeah, especially with that tank backing and also having that. Uh having that Raven out to throw down any uh, any point defense drones or automated turrets. We do see that there is the uh, Banshee now poking into the back of Liquid OGS's base. Oh, holy hell, there's a Viking here to meet you, Banshee. She's got to be... Uh Gonna be crapping her pants a little bit as uh, she starts to take down more and more of those SCVs. Gets taken out at three kills. Pays back that those is minerals, not worth but it. I don't think it's worth it at all. Yeah. Yeah, he he lo he uh, basically lost a hundred more resources in that trade, so that was a very bad trade. Now, and that was some very good reaction time by Liquid OGS. I have to say, now he but he doesn't have siege uh, mode. While Tor does have a siege mode, he's spread his marines. He's got two tanks, he's spreading them apart so they don't get uh, target fired by the marines easily. And he's got his, sec uh, his uh, natural working already. And Siege Tank Tech is on the way from OGS and it looks like uh, Siege Tank has finished here for Tor. So it looks like we're going more into a macro based game as there is, hasn't been any main aggression in this. And we're seeing the two other barracks that are finishing up here as well as over in uh, Liquid's base. He is getting that expansion going to an orbital command before he decides to lift it off and move it out here. And it looks like he's going to actually go for that double refinery very early as well. Going for the heavy gas here, Antahara. Yeah. Uh, then he, what he's probably going to do is add one more factory and another starport. But if he's going to be only producing Vikings out of that starport, he should switch it up with the, with the barracks because then he could actually get the stim as well. That's yeah. what I think. I'm not going to be. Uh, I don't want to analyze the game too much, but that's what I think he should be doing if he's doing that. We see three racks for a uh, tour, a factory, and a starport. And you know what, that push is coming right now, and is he going to be doing the cliff aggression? It looks very likely, both of them getting uh, their uh, their point defense drones, but you know what? Uh, Liquid OGS had more marines, so his point defense drone was much more effective. Those vikings are going to just sit there, there are four vikings. Uh, and not to Tor. mention that, he's also in a fantastic position with those tanks and everything like that uh, while throwing down that uh, turret. So it was nice to see that Tor did not actually engage with, uh, with yeah. those units on the low ground because they had the vision, they had everything there. There was a bunch of siege tanks and a bunch, I mean three, of course. And, uh, and yeah, it was just nice to, uh, it was nice to see Tor have that, uh, have that type of uh, eye to not go in and engage that. We are seeing the high Ooh. yield now going down for Liquid OGS. This is some very good play by, by both of them. Tor being very, very patient and OG, uh, OGS realizing that since uh, Tor is going to be uh, staying in his base and trying to be defensive, he's going to take the gold because he's going to be safe doing it. He's taking a third before, before him and he's putting a bunker at the back of his mineral line. Now that's a very interesting decision. I've never seen that being done before. He may be worried about some drops or things and not really wanting to go for that turret. <laughs> yeah, that might be the case, but I don't think say. it's drops. I think he wants to stop any Hellions from harassing Yeah, that too, yeah. Even though uh, he has not seen any Hellions come out, and there are no Hellions out on the field for Tor, but Tor is going to go ahead and move forward, hit that, or hit that Zelnaga Tower, and he's going to see all the forces that are coming up from behind him. 
And these Marines and tanks are going to need to get up there. And it looks like the siege goes down. Siege goes down a little Ooh. early for Tor. Tor taking out Marine after Marine. Oh, man. You know, Liquid OGS acted as if he's got a sixth sense there. He just moved his <laughs> units at the perfect time, but it didn't seem to help him that much. But at least it delayed the other push. And you know what? He's actually going to win this engagement in total just because he's got reinforcements right. coming in. And now Tor did a good, that was a good job by Tor throwing down those, uh, those Vikings down to add a little more DPS. We do have a successful, uh, a successful high yield, so a gold standard is in play, folks. Keep that in mind and get those drinks ready. We do have a push now coming out from two tanks, and it looks like uh, six Marines. Moving out to that Zelnaga Watchtower, we'll siege up on those uh, on that Zelnaga Watchtower. More and more Marines to meet there as well. Tor Ooh, building that Miss Riley tank getting Ooh, two yeah. shots. And Marines trying to take that tank out, but you know what? More Marines incoming, and that siege tank is already sieged, so Tor pulls back. But you know what? Tor is ahead by in food. Let's take a look at that. We do see 85 uh, supply for Tor, 77 supply here for uh, for OGS. And let's take a look at that unit counting station, see what these economies are doing. Uh, 54 uh, SCVs and two mules currently for Tor. Tor has sent out four SCVs to repair his tanks and repair his units in the middle of the field here. Uh, 46 SCVs on the other hand by OGS. OGS is currently sitting on three bases, one of them being the high yield, which he is continuing to control. An interesting move by not going for that plan. Planetary Fortress. He actually has the Orbital Command up for that uh, high yield, which is very risky indeed. But these guys look like they are sitting on about the even, uh, the even economic struggle here. But I say OGS is going to start taking the lead as he gets his transfer of SCVs in on that high yield. Yeah, but y you know what? There are more workers for Tor, and he's actually moving into the high yield himself. And he's going to be able to catch up because he's just got more uh, SCVs out on the field so far. He's got 61 to 53. And he's just going to be... But that gold is going to be very late for him. So you, you are right. Liquid OGS might just end up catching up. Oh, and an armory now going down for uh, OGS. So OGS will start to produce some upgrades. He's getting uh, the du or he's getting an engineering bay and the armory. So he will be able to start upgrading his units, which is what he definitely needs to do. And I'd say they both need to start uh, their upgrade pass. The one who upgrades the most here in the uh, right now will uh, you know mainly take the advantage. We do see that the. Uh, Stim pack is on the way now for OGS. So OGS is a little bit behind on his bio upgrades from the tech lab here. Yeah, and those rocks are going to go down finally, and uh, Tor is going to start mining from his gold right now. It took a while, but you know, eventually got there. For him, it was more important to hold uh, this position right here and to keep uh, Liquid OGS from advancing. And I think he's done what he wanted to do. Let's see the t tank count. I think that's pretty important right now. There are 10 tanks for, uh, for OGS and only 7 for Tor on the field. Now, the thing that uh, concerns me about uh, OGS is the fact that he doesn't have much air. You know, the air superiority is sitting with three Vikings, and it's in Tor's favor. So Tor does also have a dropship loaded up here. We're going to go ahead and bring the Whispers in as we see this dropship moving around the back, getting right out of the eye of everything that's going on in Liquid OGS's base. He will go in for that drop, but look at this. There's a barracks back here with two Marines inside that barracks. They will be able to do a little bit against this drop. We'll see how successful it is from Tor. Now, uh, Tor, like I was saying, has more air superiority, having more Vikings, as well as getting more and more of these uh, dropships out and I don't know how Ooh. I don't know how he was able to spot that drop with that I don't know how he was able to pull that SCV back there was nothing warding off the position it's a little interesting yeah so with that being said uh, let's go ahead and see here uh, well Tor does uh, have four Marines in the at uh, Liquid OGS's uh, third, so he's gonna natural third, so he's gonna try and delay it as much as possible, but it's not gonna work for long. Ooh, look at that! Tor moving only three tanks and forcing a lot of.